Well, what's going on YouTube fam? Today I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at the University Gold Nike Air Ships before I get into the review and I go over the kicks. If you're new to my channel, this is your first time seeing one of my videos. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for taking out some time to kick it with me. But look, while I have you here, do me a huge favor. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell for me. That way when I upload new material, you get notified and you can head to the channel and you can see what I uploaded for you guys. Also, if you're on social media, like uh, Instagram, Twitter, you enjoy pictures of sneakers, outfits, uh, anything really sneaker related, give me a follow. You can find me. I am at I am TMCII. So if you're on social media, give me a follow. And lastly, uh, if you enjoy the video, after you watch it, hit the thumbs up. Really goes a long way. Let me know that you guys enjoy the content and just motivates me to keep wanting to make these videos whenever I have new pickups for you guys. So hit that thumbs up if you enjoy the video. Okay, so now that that's out of the way for all my first timers and newcomers, we can dive right into the review. So like I mentioned, these are the Nike Air Ships in the University Gold colorway. We first started seeing the Nike Air Ships release in the New Beginnings pack. And since then, we got a few different colorways uh, so far. And this is the new University Gold colorway. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the different materials on the shoe, uh, touch on quality control, and then towards the end of the video, toss them on feet, go over size and then comfort and all that uh, good stuff for you guys. So just stick around and I got you guys pretty much covered. Um, So jumping into material, you have uh, a decent grain, uh quality leather on here it kind of kind of have like the the plastic uh synthetic nike dunk mcdonald's toy leather on here sort of it's not as stiff and plastic feeling uh but it doesn't feel like super high premium high quality leather that um that we get on some of our shoes um even like this it, it feels like really kind of like real cheap thin thin synthetic uh, material that they used on here kind of like a nike dunk high some of the nike dunk materials that they uh been using um so back in the day back in the early 80s the s ship actually released in some other colorways not just the the band colorway that mj had played in up and the only one we saw nike actually released these in a few different colorways and i'll find an old newspaper clipping and show you guys uh, i don't think this university gold was a colorway though they had white and red uh, white and orange, white and green, um, and I think white and black. Uh, a few other colorways, but I don't remember seeing anything in the past from this white and university gold colorway. So this actually may be like a first time this colorway released. And I could be wrong, so just leave me a comment if I am wrong about that. Uh, always good to be fact checked. But uh, overall, this the here you go. This the materials. It's like I said, the, the entire shoe is just made of um like a like a synthetic type of stiff plastic feeling leather material uh it's a dope shoe to me i like it just for it being part of the you know history um it's an old silhouette kind of have like a jordan one nike dunk high silhouette to it and i just i love the way that look and i don't have many shoes in white and university gold believe it or not um come to the insole so you do have a jump man and the insole uh on both shoes so you have the white insole with the gold jump man if you're not a fan of the white laces that they come with, you can swap them out and put the University Gold laces in. Uh, I'm probably gonna just keep the uh, the white laces in. You got your size tag right here. Uh, that's pretty much it as far as material goes. Quality control, the QC is decent. I don't have any, any stitching issues, uh, no scuffs, no marks, um, no real major glue stains that stick out on here. Uh, it's just minor glue right here on the toe box, but you guys won't be able to see that when they're on feet. Uh, overall, the quality control is, is decent on here. It's not uh, it's not horrible at all. I'm okay with the QC that I have on my pair. Um, so that's pretty much it for the QC and for the material. Show you guys the box. So you got your nice Nike box, white university, well, university gold and white, should I say. Instead of like the Jordan color box we would normally get, you got the all gold box with the white writing. Coming here, you got Jordan S Ship PE. Uh, here's your color breakdown, your product code. You can scan this with the camera, just opens up the, uh, just the Nike app. It doesn't do anything special. It doesn't take you to the shoe or anything like that. 
no special tissue or anything. The shoes came stuffed with tissue, no shoe trees or anything. Um, so nothing special you get in the inside. You do have a little booklet though. So you got this Nike Airship booklet with PE on here. I'm gonna open this also. If you guys wanna pause the video, you can pause the video and you can read some of this stuff. Hold on, let's put this here. So you guys can pause the video and you can read some of the some of the stuff that came with it. Got a little breakdown of the shoe. Um, all kind of little information inside the booklet for you guys. I think that's pretty much it. That's all you got. Well, you got this too. So, like I said, you can pause the video. You can read this if you're curious. But that's it. You get a little booklet, like the airship booklet. That's pretty much it for that. Show you guys the kicks one more time. Before I take them off here, do me a favor, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the airship. If you're a fan of them, if you have any of them, or would you go after any of them? Uh, usually reply to you guys when you leave me comments. If I don't reply to exactly what you say to me, I'm gonna hit the heart button or the thumbs up button next to your comment. So I'm gonna take them off here now, guys. Toss them on feet really quick. Show y'all what they look like on feet. You guys hang tight. Let's toss them on feet. All right, guys, here is a quick on feet look at your University Gold Nike Airships. Just wanna show y'all what they look like really quick on feet. Uh, first things first, we can just jump right into sizing. Um, usually the most asked question from you guys. To me, my feet are like medium, narrow width, sort of. I like a snug, exact fit on my kicks. And on the New Beginnings Airships, I went down a half size. So I did the same thing with these. I went down a half size and I have that snug, exact fit that I like. It's not tight to where my feet are in pain. Um, but it's a really snug fit. If you don't like a snug fit, um, I think go true to size. But with this being an all leather shoe, and the more you wear them, the shoe's gonna break in a little bit more. I think you can go down a half size if you like that really snug, exact fit like I do. But like I said, if you don't like that and you're not a fan of a tight fit, just go true to size and you should be good. If you have wide feet and you want a snug fit, go true to size, you should be okay. But if you want, um, you know, a little bit of room in your shoe, you may want to consider going up a half size. It's really all about preference and how you like your shoes to fit, honestly. Uh, as far as comfort goes, um, they're, they're a comfortable shoe to say it's an older shoe, but it's, uh, you feel a lot of the ground. It's a flat shoe, just like a Dunk or Jordan one. So if you're looking for squish and bounce and cushioning, you really won't get that. But I still think you could casually rock these all day and not be in any kind of pain or discomfort. And like I mentioned, the more you wear them, I think the more they're gonna break in and start to feel a little bit better on your feet. So if I had to rank it like on a scale of, you know, one to five, five being like extremely comfortable, these are like somewhere in the middle. And I think, the more I put these on and the more I rock them and wear them and break them in, they're only gonna start to feel better and better on feet. So here you go, I won't ramble anymore. I just wanna show you what they look like real quick on feet. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, if you are new, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, more videos to come, more shoes to share, but I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all later, peace.